Hey everyone, welcome to Camper Connect with Myers RV. My name is Ryan and today we're going to be talking about the Grand Design Reflection 31 MB. Let's get started. So Grand Design is a manufacturer of high-end travel trailers, fifth wheels, and toy haulers. Today we are looking at the Reflection Series, which is a mid-profile fifth wheel from Grand Design. So starting right up at the front, I like to note Grand Design's attention to detail with convenience features. We have this nice hitch hookup light with a little rocker switch right underneath here. As I come around to the side, I notice that the auto leveling function is in a really convenient location as well, easy to access. There are two 30 pound propane cylinders, one on either side of the coach, easy access through these doors here. And then we have a massive outdoor storage compartment with slam latches and a magnetic latch to hold it at the top. Nice and easy to use right there. On this side, we have Grand Design's signature docking station. There's a lot of great hookups in here. I like this diagram that shows you how to use everything for your water hookups. There are LED lights on either side. Uh, there's a lot of space in here to work with. And then right up front here, there's this awesome Lippert Components touchscreen that allows you to set up every part of the camper from the outside. I really like that they give you this nice convenient push button light right next to your drainage station. And then in lieu of a full size rear bumper, you have a sewer hose tube that goes under the coach in the back there. So right behind your main pass through storage compartment, you have an additional compartment back here, also with magnetic latches at the top for a semi outdoor kitchen. You have a small electric refrigerator in here, nice beer fridge for those folks who like to have it outside. And then you just have all this storage space in here with uh, cable TV hookups, a little light and a GFCI outlet. Right behind that, you have a nice second outdoor spray port over here. Uh, and then as we come to the entrance, we see we have an oversized grab handle and these awesome mole ride steps that flip up into the coach. But the neat thing about these is before you do that, you can get all the dirt and debris off of them by just flipping the steps themselves. So the master bedroom in this coach is pretty nice. I have a good sized queen bed. I really like the aesthetic in here. I like the sconces on the wall. It's a nice hotel room feel, really, really classy. There's storage above the bed, below the bed, behind me over here. There's just a lot to work with in this bedroom. The bathroom on this coach is a great size as well. I like the shower, it's nice and tall. When I stand in there, the shower head is above me. There's a lot of space to work with. There's a good amount of counter space. There's storage above and below the vanity and opposite of it. And then the toilet's in a good spot too. So now we're in the mid bunk of the coach, the highlighted feature, and there is just a ton of space in here. I love this room. It's really great that there's two doors, uh, one on either side of the corner here. It really opens up the space. It doesn't make this feel like a den. It makes it feel like just a part of the living space of the coach when those doors are open and people are hanging out during the day. There's a great big entertainment center over here uh, with a lot of storage above and below. You can stick a big TV in there. You have your outlets. You can plug in your devices. The kids can hang out in here all day long. They can also do so by putting up this bed up top and making this a little couch space so they can play video games and whatever on a rainy day. Great, great feature. So there's a good size kitchen on this coach. I love all the solid surface countertops. Even the sink covers are solid surface pull-out countertops. I really like the nice big one-piece aluminum sink. I like the pull-out rotating faucet. The wood paneling on the refrigerator, gas electric refrigerator, is great. Um, behind me, I have even more counter space over here, leading over to my entertainment center with an electric fireplace. And then right across from the kitchen, you have a nice large pantry with a courtesy light inside. So lastly, back here, I have the seating and entertainment space on this coach. Everything you see here is standard. I have a nice big triple seat recliner sofa. Every single seat in here reclines. And then you have your heating, electric, and LED lighting on either side in the cup holders. And then back here, I have a massive U-shaped dinette that drops nice and easily down into a table. All you do is pull two levers under the table, push it down on a gas strut, pull out your cushion, and you're good to go. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit the like button on our YouTube page. If you're interested in seeing more videos like this or on any of the other RV topics we cover, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can also find us on social media and of course on the Myers RV website. Thanks again for watching and until next time, happy camping.